offer your pistol here in the state of Texas because a lot of people think of Texas as a pro-gun state. But you see these guys walking around. It wasn't around. one of the best, but now yeah. it is. Yeah, you see these guys walking around with their M4s and their AKs because they're trying to make the point that they couldn't carry their pistols. And thanks to the work that they've done, uh, they've been demonized in a lot of different areas. But, it but they won. The attention. Yeah, they brought the attention. And the governor's the now talking about the New World Order and world government, and he's going to battle it. We're winning. We're marching forward. We're working with everybody. And I'm glad Weldon brought the point. The shirt's a protest shirt in the face of the system coming after him. You're not getting our guns. Weldon, anything else? I just want to say, you know, to everybody out there, there is a lot of support for what we're standing for in the Second Amendment everywhere you go. I know people get discouraged, but, you know, I was up at the Capitol on Saturday, and everywhere I looked, you know, they had the, the state troopers up there, and they were carrying AR-15s, so I just started talking to them. And they were all fans of yours. They were all pro-Second Amendment. Everywhere I go, I meet people that are pro-Second Amendment, and they're worried about what's going on in this country. That's By the way, I want to be clear, because I don't even know you went to the Capitol this weekend, Weldon, but I know that's how politically involved you are for this country. You know, that's what we do on our off time. We're not bragging when we say the police are waking up, the military's waking up, white people, black people, everybody's just people. Uh, it's really true that just InfoWars as one focal point is exploding. It's absolutely exploding, uh, and it's just crazy just, to, just as a gauge of how serious people are getting about what's happening. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at Infowars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew, the reporters. You are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first, and then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv clean pure drinking water you can't survive without it but where do you get it alexa pure pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity fed water filtration system that is like no other the alexa pure pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean healthy drinking water save twenty dollars off the retail price and get free shipping this is a limited time offer so order your unit today and receive free shipping and twenty dollars off go to infowarsstore.com or call 888-253-3139. Larry Nichols, thank you for coming on, my friend. You look good. I know you've been battling illness, but I tell you, you look better than you looked a few months ago, so I hope folks' prayers are working out there. Thank you for coming on. You bet. Well, thank you. You know, Alex, it's heading up just like we said, you know, just like we've talked about, buddy. Let me tell you the inside scoop. Biden and uh, Elizabeth Warren, they're ready. They've got their staff set up. They're, they're ready to go. Now, but here's the problem, Alex. Hillary. Hillary is putting the pressure on them. They indict her. And, Alex, she's going to unload on everybody and has made it quite plain. You indict me. And every secret in Washington will be revealed. I will not go down alone. And every member of Congress, both Republican and Democrat, the Senate, they're scared to death. They're begging Obama, don't. And, of course, Obama's got his agenda. And uh, it's the battle. It's the battle. 
Now, I know everybody, Alex, tells you, well, Hillary's got to be indicted, got to be indicted. Let me tell you, she gets indicted, it's over. Washington, as we know it, will be over. And the people there know it. What do you expect the establishment to do? What's the current movement? What direction are they going in? Well, there's absolutely, uh, now I got that just, just, just this morning. People, the high ups in the Democratic Party are calling me, my God, what are we going to do? Republican high ups are calling me, my God, what are we going to do? Let me tell you, everybody is frozen. Everyone's frozen, Alex. Hillary has got that city under fear. It, it's under the greatest terrorist attack that's ever been known to Washington, D.C. She has them. And so people in America are wondering, well, wait a minute. With all this stuff that's so obvious, how can you not indict her? And so there's pressure from that angle. The Republican Party, to be quite honest, the reason there's not a lot of stuff happening, you know, between Trump, Cruz, and the, the establishment and the Republican Party, everybody, quite honestly, is sitting tight, but puckered. What is going to happen? And so I'm telling you, they're not going to indict Hillary. They're not going to indict her because if they do, she is going to reveal everything about every one of them. And... Well, as you know, so, a lot of former federal prosecutors and others are coming out saying the word is an FBI indictment is imminent in the next 40 to 50 days. Is that just smoke and mirrors? That's just, well, that's just wishful thinking. There's a lot of people that think they know this and they think they know that. And there's no doubt that there's FBI guys, Alex, you know, they're not bad. They're not all bad. They want to indict her. But they can't. You see, you can't indict Hillary unless you get Loretta Lynch to do it. Loretta Lynch is not going to do it unless Obama tells her. And now, what about Biden? Right. You you said you talked to some big insiders, and they've even right. lined up who they plan to run mm -hmm. with him. Right. Biden and Elizabeth Warren, that's what they think will be the relief team, the dream team. If Hillary goes down, they can bring him in. Problem is, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, or whatever her name is, she's, she's fighting hard. They've even changed the rules. Now they're going to have another debate. Everybody's working to try to get Hillary back on track because they're scared to death. I'm telling you, this is, this is, this is big league. This is big time. Alex. Now, six You've months ago, you were like saying that. we got to take out Hillary politically, but you warned mm -hmm. Obama may try to put his dynasty in uh, of uh, Biden. That's now admitted. So, right. uh, but again, I mean, they're, they're part of the same structure, but two different heads, I would say. In your gut, which way is this leaning? Or are you saying right now it's a stalemate? It's a stalemate, but I'm just telling you right now, Hillary will not be indicted. They will do everything they can to try to cover it up. They'll do everything they can to try to rebuild her campaign. And remember, a lot of this is going to work out to Hillary's favor in the general election because come general election time, when she wins, it's all going to be old news. And she's going to talk about, Alex, how the right wing white guy conspiracy, how it tried to bring charges against her, how they've done everything to destroy her. And she still made it like the phoenix rising up from the ashes. She made it. And here she comes. Now, I will say this, the only one that can beat Hillary, Alex, the only one, is Donald Trump. Recently, I saw a video of 10-year-old Vandela Payne, who was given a repetitive full-body pat-down, which scared the girl and disgusted her father. Her father taped the incident, and later posted the video on YouTube, as he was outraged by the egregious and overreaching government behavior. The TSA claims that the pat-down was necessary when they noticed the threatening juice box that she had in her backpack. She was patted down multiple times to make sure that her and her threatening juice box were not terroristic sympathizers. Meanwhile, the TSA was allowing thousands of illegal immigrants to fly in from Mexico without a travel visa or a passport. Here's what the Judicial Watch said about these incidents in July of 2014. To ease a load, the Obama administration is transferring to UACs, more than 53,000 by the government's count, to other parts of the country, including Florida, Nebraska, and Massachusetts. Apparently, a large number of UACs are being transported to their new destination on airplanes. Most don't have a valid identification and are being allowed to board aircrafts with just a slip of paper. And on top of that, we have hundreds of thousands of Middle Eastern refugees seeking asylum in the U.S., and all the heads of the FBI, National Counterterrorism Organization, and Homeland Security have all admitted under oath that their agencies do not have the capability to properly vet the refugees.
We don't have the systems in place on the ground to collect the information to vet. That would be the concern. Yes, I think that's the challenge we're all talking about, is that mm -hmm. we can only query against that which we have collected. You can't account for what you don't know, and that goes to the intelligence deficit that I think is uh, uh, embedded in your question. <clears throat> we may have somebody who comes to us and is simply not on our radar for any discernible reason. And there may also be the possibility that somebody decides to do something bad after they've been admitted through the process. Even the Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan agrees with Donald Trump's statement on not taking Muslims into the U.S. until a proper vetting process is established. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on? So when Mr. Uh, Trump said um, we can't uh, allow these Muslims refugees into America. Now, a lot of people were upset with him, but I know, um, sir, that the hatred for America in the Muslim world. So in this way, Mr. Trump, I think, is wise to vet anyone coming from that area into America because the hatred for America is in the streets now. Finally, our southern border is wide open for people and illegal drugs to pour into this country. InfoWars reporters have documented that our border patrol is busing illegals across the country and border ranchers have found Muslim prayer rugs, English to Arabic dictionaries, and even Middle Eastern money, which proves that we are under an invasion of epic proportions. Going back to the TSA, they want to end the process of opting out of naked body scanners, and they are finally implementing the National ID Card to Fly, which will make the driver's license of some states not a valid ID to board a plane. Our country is literally locking all the internal doors while leaving the outside doors wide open, too, and practically inviting terrorists to come in and wreak havoc on our great country. And what is this doing to people my age, who've always known the TSA to crony and Fourth Amendment violating practices? We think this type of international checkpoint behavior is normal and to be expected at every large event. Our roads, bus stations, trade stations, and airports are becoming East German Stasi prison staging centers. This is not the country that our founding fathers envisioned, and I will tell you with three quotes proving this. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. And when the government fears the people, there is liberty. Thomas Jefferson. Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security would deserve neither and lose both. Ben Franklin Make yourself sheep and the wolves will eat you. Benjamin Franklin We need to go back to what our founding fathers envisioned before the TSA filling up 10-year-old girls becomes an art form. This is Rex Jones reporting for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars Not Only News. Hey, that's going to do it for tonight's broadcast. The InfoWars Nightly News will return, Lord willing, tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Till then, you all have a great evening, and we'll see you back right here tomorrow. Good night. What's wrong? You don't like a small group of psychos hijacking your country? Well, become President of the United States and change it from the... Never mind. Three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.